Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Dead Cells. Let's see here. What do we want to do? I mean, this could become brutality. I don't want to do a tactics run just because we've done a million and one tactics runs, and I really, I really do want to try uh, being different from what I I used to do back in the day, but. Having said that, the call of tactics, it's its kind of there, man. Yeah, that's uh, kind of useless to us. All right. And we're, we're going to follow, I think, about the same path we followed last time. Oh, crap. That's right. I i changed what our primary weapon was. Real, real big brain maneuvers there. Yeah, let's make this brutality. Like I said, I really love my tactics, but let's let's fight against our instincts. I'm not gonna go up there for that. Uh... Oh, God! I hate you. I hate you so much. But I did bring it on myself, so I've got no one to blame. Oh, but there's the whirlwind. Anyway. Um, what are, what are we gonna try to do here? We we want to, I think. I'd love to get the uh, the kill door, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Yoink! Conveniently, that actually. Yeah, now we get criticals, which oh, it does actually do extra damage. I don't know why I was under the impression it didn't. I think it might have uh, at one point not given extra damage, but I could be mistaken about that. Okay, we've only got 30 seconds. I don't, I don't think we're gonna make it. I'd like the time door though, because apparently there is something there. Oop. That could be useful to us. Now that again, we might be able to make it. But probably not. So let's at least try to make sure we get the kill door, shall we? Though if I am somehow able to pull this off, that would be great. Okay, nicely done. A little bit of extra monies. Oh yeah, there's no way we're getting the time door. Disappointing. Well, actually, we could get it, but uh, not likely. Because I do want to, yeah, I want to go this way. want to go to the sewers today. And we have got ourselves a, oh god. A beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brutality run going here so far. And that's good for a bit of crowd control. Alright, we just need to find one more enemy. And there was that shield boy that we left back over here somewhere. It was closer to here. All right, so at least we get one door, which is not essential, but it is helpful. There we go. All right, so I, I'm a happy man, I think. Happy-ish. Happy as can be expected. But anyway, yeah, so... Uh, I want to do better this time. And we were actually, we were doing pretty well until I... You know, kind of panicked there in the caverns and got murderized. I feel like I might have missed something back there. Anyway. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad. Also not bad. It generates a shield when used. Hmm. I mean, this would probably be better for getting our... Uh... Oh, and it also does more damage if we're cursed, which is new to me. I like it. Okay, so yeah, we gotta unlock our fancy mutations here. Always seems like- actually, let's uh... Oh, didn't have quite enough cells. I wanted to get that to 250. For no particular reason. Probably not gonna upgrade the very first item we picked up. Uh, reduces damage. That's not bad. Killing an enemy, cooldown. 
melee attacks slow down enemies. We're not using melee. Close combat attacks. Well, that's not terrible either. The flask is empty. It'll automatically refill itself after you kill 10 enemies. Not bad. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's after taking damage. Never mind. I mean, the fire is close, right? <laughs> you see, it, it, this is a different description than melee, so I think it just means you have to be close to the enemy and then you'll trigger it. If I am remembering correctly. I guess we'll find out. That caused bleeding, did it not? So we'll see. Alrighty then. That did not appear to cause bleeding. Alright, so... Yeah. But we might end up picking up... Hello. Seems good enough to me. You never know, we might... Good job. Masterfully done. All right, there we go. Wow. Those criticals are really something, aren't they? Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh no, it does it does cause Oh no, that was me ground pounding. Never mind. I was going to say for a second there, "Hey, we we actually got it." But uh, you know, I was getting a little just a little ahead of ourselves there. God, isn't uh isn't this great? Yoink. I'll take your money. Oh. And the, I mean, the grenade by itself can actually do lethal damage, so that's another plus right there. Alright. Hmm. Whoa, boy. You know, it should have just attacked. I would have, I would have had him. Though, there are no doors, are there, after, uh, after this. Or are there? You know what? I'm not sure. What I am sure of- oh god, don't fall into that. I mean, yeah, that just- The crowd control is good, and also it would get rid of bombs, but let's double down on the whole fire or shindig thing here. What the heck is with these- Little tombstones. I'm sure I haven't seen them before. I'm sure they are something. Okay, there's the ancient sewers. Which is not where we want to go, actually. We want to go to the corrupted uh, corruption. Or corrupted confines. That's what it's called, silly goose. Alright. Anyway. Let's, uh... Now that's just a little story beat. May have something for us, but let's not worry about it right now. Yeah, see, this is why I, uh, I do have a harder time, I think, with survival, is because there is this tendency with survival, like, right off the bat, we've already got some, like, really good, uh, active skills that pair nicely with, you know, what we're doing here. But you don't quite get that as much with, uh, survival, for whatever reason. Which is very unfortunate. But, you know, life goes on, and we'll find a way. Damn, we're good. Are we not good? We are the best. Don't, don't do that. It's not worth it just for the money. Beautiful. And we've got our 60 kills, so life is going great. Also, what is this? The Corrupted Confinement. Nicely done. Ah! Don't scare me like that, you giant overgrown slug. Kind of, kind of wasting time letting myself get caught in a corner like that. But, them's the brakes. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame there's not a closer teleporty thing here. But again, them's the brakes. And uh, that's you know yeah just how it goes. So. And we're, we're getting by anyway without it, so it's not like it's a massive loss. And probably want to go with the most HP, even though at this difficulty level, 
We're, we're not at too much of a risk. Also, is there anything I'm missing? There is a whole side area off to the side that we could go exploring, which is probably going to forever and always cost us the time doors. So at some... Good job. At some point, I think we're going to want to do just a speed run, probably on zero cell difficulty. If I'm being honest, that's that's probably the best difficulty for speed running. Make the game as easy as possible on yourself. Oh wait, there's a secret area down there. Actually, there's a lot of uh, area over there. There's like a treasure chest and everything. Hmm. I almost uh, just left this level. That would have been awful. How do I get over there? Oh, there it is, derp. <sighs> the brain is a little slow this morning. But it always is. It's kind of my own fault because I stay up really late and then I wake up really early and... I mean, yeah, it's not terrible to do that. It's not necessarily great, but it's not bad. You know, assuming you don't feel the need to sleep for whatever reason. I go through periodic insomnia, I guess is what I'm saying. The odd situation. But it is what it is. Oop. Easy does it. There we go. You know what also occurs to me? We have not seen any elites, have we? That's kind of disappointing. Did they, did at some point, uh, elites get, well, no, they did. They did get reduced a couple of, uh, updates back in how frequently they appear. Hmm. Well. It's tempting, but you know what, let's, uh, let's leave it be for now, shall we? Ah yes, Valmont's Whip, my hated rival. Though it is actually a good weapon if you're if you're able to actually hit your enemies in a reasonable uh Yeah, at a reasonable distance. But for me, that distance has always been too much. That's also tempting, but let's uh let's go ahead and recycle that. And, yeah, we have definitely taken way too long to have any real shot, I think, at getting any time doors for the rest of this run. But, you know what? That's okay. Because we're still doing good. And that's the important thing, isn't it? And we got ourselves a door. Actually, this just goes to the ramparts, doesn't it? Nope, this is a treasure chest. Never mind. Not sure why I thought it was going to go to the ramparts. Also... When did... It must have been the last update that I didn't really put too much time into. 1.4. Making that ice bow part survival. Which, you know what? That's actually pretty good. And I think that's because Motion Twin wanted to change up a little bit, like, what the free stats represent. And I guess survival... Yeah, it makes sense having a crowd control item like that in there. Oh, there was a kill door. Never mind. Don't know why I thought there wasn't. Okay, shield. That's actually doing 300% damage after parrying. That is pretty sweet. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see here. This gives the most money, though, for whatever reason. Probably should have read the description of what uh, the various things did a little better. All right, I'm going to bump one into you, and then the rest will go to networking. Unlock that as a mutation. I have to try that out at some point. Still, don't don't uh, upgrade that. That would be silly. This is the cooldown. Honestly, I haven't felt the need for more of that. I think that's... It's not useful on bosses, but most of the game is not a boss fight, so... I think we'll be okay. Probably. Probably, probably. Oh. 
Th this was what it was like last time, wasn't it? We picked up a cursed chest at the beginning of this level. Pretty sure that's what happened. Now... I like this. Let's see. Does more damage to a burning target. I mean, it would slow enemies down. I, I should probably have considered taking that. Because that is actually quite handy. Oh god. Don't scare me like that. I have to say, I'm actually kind of surprised with, um... Wow, that was easy. I'm kind of surprised with, uh, the enemy distribution here in this new level. Like, so far, it doesn't look like it, this adds anything new. Oh wait, except for, uh, Big Bird here. That was probably a mistake. Until it wasn't. Anyways. Oh dear. Whoop. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe at the higher difficulties, though, there's, you know, some more crazy enemies that show up down here. Though I guess after... After we win this run, because we're totally going to win this run this time, I've got a good feeling about it. Actually, maybe we've been... Or maybe we just get an easier run here in, uh... Like, right now, just, uh, because Motion Twin just wants people to test out the the flow of the level rather than the difficulty, and then maybe it'll get buffed later. Or maybe I shouldn't be asking these questions, because maybe it will get seriously buffed later, and it'll become really dangerous. Either that or the Prison Depths got nerfed. I suppose that's possible. But yeah. I mean, not having to deal with Clockwork Spiders... Oh, nice. Don't die. Strategic retreat, you say. That sounds like it would be an excellent, excellent uh, mutation to have. And also, it's another tactics mutation. There's a lot of mutations for tactics. Whoa! Let yourself get hit. But then again, there's no doors at the end of this level, so it's all good. Also, I just noticed that... Uh, Totem guy can't bleed. At least I think he can't, because I saw a little... For a brief moment there, something that said resist. Which is interesting. I didn't make sense, quite frankly. Anyway, yeah. I mean, Tactics is great for its mutations, because most of them feel like they're just general use and they could apply at just about any time. Any time or place. This is going to take us to the ramparts, right? Yes. But we don't want to go to the ramparts. We want to go to the ancient sewers. Okay. I think we'll open this door. I mean, I like knife dance, to be honest with you. If I could, if I could re roll that into. Yeah. If we could re roll that into double. Um, double brutality, we'd be looking at a pretty good build there. But I like to save all my money and hoard it for the end. Alright. Do a quick check here this time. Make sure there's no secrets on the walls. Doesn't look like it. I mean, those all those blueprints have to be hiding somewhere. Alright, so what did we get? Yeah, never uh, tactics mutation. Dodging an attack at the last moment slows down nearby enemies for one second. They can no longer infect you with the malaise while they are slowed down. I wonder how uh, intense the timing for that is. When they say the last second. You know, I am actually tempted to just upgrade this. Because it's been doing God's work for us so far. Okay, one more try. Alright, it doesn't want to give me the double survival. Or double brutality. Because it's a jerk. Let's see. Um, hmm. This is the only cooldown reduction that's actually useful on bosses. So, that's the one we'll go with.
and also feels like it would be really, really good with what we've got here, because we attack very rapidly, and we have an easy way of guaranteeing, uh, guaranteeing our critical hit. So, this present build, let's uh, explore down this way while we're waiting for those bombs to go off. Hello, friend. And then promptly end up slowing ourselves down anyway. Ah, the rapier. I remember back in the olden days when that was the most OP weapon in the game. Alas, it is not quite the man it used to be. But it's still pretty good. I just don't feel like you- Oh, here we go. Finally, an elite enemy. Bajack. Bajack. Oop. Bajack. Victory. God, we're good. So good. Alright. Don't need you. Hope there's not a cursed chest down here. Alright, so we still need 60 kills, I believe, if we want uh, to get all the possible things. Or, yeah, there's a kill door at the end of this, isn't there? I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I mean, we literally just... Oh, actually, it's been a... There's... Whoa! There, there was a bit of a gap between recordings. Good job, Gaslight. You probably just uh, poisoned yourself out of a the easy door. But then again, I bet we could still... Oh, right. The uh, These tentacle things are still around. No, I actually like the idea behind that of... Um, oh, dear. Of having sort of like a, a trial run of uh, the bosses in the level uh, preceding them. I don't really need you right now, tactics and survival, but I guess I'm still happy that you exist. Good job. Anyway, all right, let's let's uh, let's just make sure we don't get hit again for the rest of this level. Maybe we can still get 30 kills. Don't, don't do it. No! But yes. All right. So things were things weren't so bad. That's the important part. Okay. What else do we need to worry about here? Not much, though I would like to ace the the watcher. So let's let's make sure we do that if we can, which we should be able to do. It should be really really easy. Really easy. Oh, this is... You know, I'm sure that didn't used to be brutality. Oh boy. Everything changes. I feel old. Like, you know, things are different than they were when... when I was playing this just a few months ago, and... here we are. You know, that actually would have been not bad either. I mean, to be honest, I'm probably gonna get rid of this, uh... this fire thing. This fire turret, because it's good. But I don't think it's good enough. No, don't roll down there. That's probably just going to drop me into a pool of poison, isn't it? Did I? Oh yeah, I did take some damage earlier. There we are. That's what we want. Uh, excuse me, friend. The fire will kill him. There we go. Nice service key. Oh, bad guy trying to murder me. Always a bad guy trying to murder me. Get out. Alright, so far so good. Okay, wait for it. Nicely done, perfectly timed, expertly executed. With absolute precision. Beautifully done again. Nope. Don't, don't panic, Gaslight. Remember, that's the key. Don't panic. Uh, that is what it is. We'll be fine. No, no, don't. Now is not the time for a cursed sword run. Aha, suckers! Oh, I killed one of them. And there we go. 
and we'll just run back in here. Wait, can I not grab cells with, uh, with my head? Or no, it's probably because I just, it's because I grabbed the money first, isn't it? No! There's cells! Precious cells! Oh, the, sure, the money will come, but the cells won't. Well, that sucks. That's a whole cell I could have used. Oh yeah, there's this whole side area up here that we could have gone to as well. Yeah, we're much too slow for any time doors. Which is sad, but life goes on. Oh! Hey, I actually didn't get poisoned. Even though it's not how the mechanics work, I'm just going to pretend that the, uh, the oil slick up there is what saved us. Uh, let's see. What would I want? Maybe this. Firebomb? Not bad. That, not bad. The magnet grenade is a good crowd control item, in my opinion. Alright. Moving on. Oop, oh, wrong way. Though it's not what we want right now, mostly because I don't want to spend the money required to, uh... Ah, damn it! <laughs> I... I just drifted off and stopped paying attention. And there was definitely enough enemies that we could have made that work. Oh god. Again, don't panic. Panicking is the enemy. Beautiful. They just, like, moths to a flame. God, I'm mad at myself. You gotta stay focused, Gaslight. Oop. Yeah, just because you took some damage. Don't, don't let good damage follow bad, or bad damage follow good. Or throw just damage after damage. We don't want that. Just bad play is what it is. Okay, you know what? This might be a good upgrade. Let's see, 50% more damage at maximum health. You know what? I like that. Does more damage when enemies have less than 40% HP. I like that. All right. No! Yeah, I totally could have got the, the kill door if I hadn't made that silly, silly error. But life goes on. Let's see, what doors do we want to open? Wait, that's pure survival now? All right. I mean... Okay. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? I feel like this might be the most valuable for recycling purposes. This has a straight 15% extra damage on it. I might have been wrong about that. The sword, the swift sword might have been better. But, life goes on and you don't always need to make the super optimal choice. Alright. Remember, the goal, don't get hit. I did miss a kill door. Ah. So sad. But, you know what? It's alright. Okay, we're already full on stuff. We don't need that. And then it's off to the bad place. Which is to say the graveyard. There we go. We'll just punch the door open for reasons. Reasons that even we don't understand. Okay, don't go anywhere. Oh. Okay, that was a smart move, getting out of the way. Nope, nope. Alright, that did work out nicely. Okay, throw down a little bit of oil there. Just lube them up. Okay, they're gonna get faster now. No, don't get hit! You got hit. Good job. Masterfully done. What timing those rolls? Okay. Genius. Whoop. Okay, we're good. Just watch where the tentacles go. See, it's just that easy. Nicely done. Oh, 
Getting a little faster now. Okay. Build. Almost. Almost. And he's dead. Incidentally, actually, a little uh, pro tip there uh, for anyone who, for whatever reason, has not read the patch notes. Well, I mean, I guess if you're not playing on the beta branch, there's no reason to read the patch notes until, you know, the full update comes out. But, bosses on boss tier, or on cell one and above, I was so close. Anyway, on cell one or above, actually have slightly less health because the first phase of the fight is removed. Which is actually kind of cool, isn't it? Well, it is in my opinion, anyway. I think it's cool. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, there's that. Slightly less health, but they also start off a little bit harder. Which I like. Just like I like that they finally got rid of the damage cap on bosses, which really benefits fast weapons. Also, let's not make the mistake we made last time. Let's remember, uh, rule one of the graveyard is you don't actually... You're not supposed to kill every enemy right off the bat. You're supposed to actually leave most enemies alone and don't touch them. Yeah, it's not the key room, is it? No, I don't think it is. Let's keep going. If it is the key room, then we can always come back to it. But yeah, we want to leave killing enemies until after we have located the cursed chest, which is usually underground. My one, my one exception will be for magic mics here because they are dangerous and scary. I should probably make an exception for whoop, for these guys as well, because I hate their uh, their lasers. All right, and you can go chuckles. Okay, what are we looking at here? No, you looked a lot smaller. Okay, and this is the key room. Yeah, just kill all of that, because we like to be able to see what we're doing in life. It just makes things a little easier. But yeah, we overall make sure we leave 10 enemies to kill for later. Oh god. I hate you so much! And you just ruined my possible kills. Well. And by you, I mean me. I, I ruined it. Ruined it for myself, really. Nope, don't get hit. <laughs> yeah, he's on fire and poison. He's not doing anything to us. Okay, so 12 kills. We gotta get to 60. Or just be faster. Or both. Alright. That's a... I do love the old Crushinator, but it's not for this run. Oh, you know what? I am also thinking to myself. Note to self, come back here later, because there's lots of enemies to kill. Of course, watch the cursed chest is in one of those earlier uh, treasure rooms. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm still kind of bummed out that the architects, uh, or the... yeah, the archives were never actually made into a, an actual level. Got scrapped. But then again, maybe someday, someday the level will come back. Who knows? Anything is possible in life. I got hit and I, okay, now we're definitely not getting the kill door. So, you know, just don't worry about it. Just don't die. Don't get hit again. That's, that's the ticket to life. I'm mad at myself. Oh boy. I don't know, it's like I'm distracted lately. Probably that aforementioned lack of sleep. Which, to be honest, well actually, it was it was worse a few months ago where I, I basically wasn't sleeping at all. It, it seems to, uh, whatever was causing me to have trouble sleeping seems to have passed. And that's a little tidbit into the life of gaming by Gaslight. What I do when I'm not recording. I apparently stay up all night unable to sleep. It's all well and good. Oh god, oh god. Oh yeah, yeah. I got stuck because of the lightning. 
I want to kill everything, but I want to locate the... Oh. I want to locate the, uh... The cursed chest first. Because we have left quite a few enemies just lying around here. There we go. Whoop. Anyway. Yeah, what else has been keeping gaming by Gaslight busy when he's not recording? Well, no, no, grab. Grab that. Thank you. Well, I've been uh, doing a lot of writing lately. Lately, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Which is good, because I, I frankly feel I'd been kind of neglecting my writing for some time, and getting back into that regularly is pretty nice. I've actually got a bunch of, uh, bunch of short stories I'm trying to get, um, I'm in the middle of trying to get published right now. Though, you know, the jury is still out on, you know, if or when that is ever gonna happen. I've got, I've got some faith, because I like to think that I'm, you know, good at the whole writing thing, but, uh, yeah, you don't know until you try, and it can take a while to hear back from these things, so, yeah. Who knows, maybe at some future point I'll be able to say, hey, guys, guess what? I'm a published author now. Isn't that cool? That'd be great. Honestly, if I could get away with it, I would totally... You know, just write stories or something like that for a living. Anything creative, really. I like making things. And if I if that's what I could do for a living, I would be the happiest man in the world. And who knows, maybe I'll get to that point someday. You never know. You know, this is a perfect opportunity to come back here later. Whoop. I almost got hit. You know, I'm actually, I am going to kill all the enemies in here right now, though. Because we've left, we've definitely left more than 10 enemies elsewhere. So, I don't think we need to conserve. Oh, dear. Nope. No, 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 no. Please die, Skeletor. Thank you. All right. Yeah. That was probably a bit of a waste of time there, but then again, we had fun. And how can fun possibly be a waste of time, right? Alright, let's, uh... That's too far away to really do anything, isn't it? Ah, he's distracted. Which worked perfectly. Don't fall into a pile of spikes. And we didn't, so that's good. Got ourselves a little bit more money, forgotten sepulcher, not where we want to go. Oh, that worked out nicely. Okay, where the heck is... It's totally back here, isn't it? That's where the cursed chest for this level is. Last time it was at the very beginning of the level, this time it's going to be at the very end. Or wait, nope, it's right here. Is it always here, I wonder? Maybe. Alright, so we'll go back through the level and try to kill all the things topside that we left behind. Sadly, there's not quite enough enemies left for us to get the kill door, in all likelihood, but then again, I have been wrong before. I'm actually kind of amazed that we've been able to make such progress with, uh... Why did I do that? There could have been spikes at the bottom of that pit. Well, you know what? We're actually at don't, don't do that. You could totally make it. I know you can. But, better not to risk these things. Wow, the bomb by itself. This is a, a level 2 oil grenade, so... Oh my god, we might actually... We might actually do it. We did do it! Oh my god. But, but then watch, this is a never cursed chest. <laughs> Whoop. If it wasn't for my all-consuming hatred of magic mics, I probably would have, uh, left these bomb bats for later. As you watch, this is gonna be a never-cursed chest, and we're not gonna be able to get rid of our curse in time! Good job. But it's too late, we already- Okay, it's just a regular chest. 
That's good. Because as I recall, cursed chests have been... Have been made rarer in this update. Hopefully not too rare, though, because I did like... I did like a good cursed chest. An excellent source of extra power. Ooh. Well, you know, that would have been a lot more useful earlier in the game, but, uh, or earlier in this level, but hey, you can never say no to a good liposuction. Well, I guess you can, but, uh, this will hopefully last long enough to get to the cavern. Hopefully. It does last a fair amount of time. I think we got exactly one cell out of it, so a bit disappointing, but life goes on. I also still wish, and maybe, maybe this happened at some point and I just haven't seen it, but I do wish that, um, oh no, we lost our liposuction. That's unfortunate. Yes. It pretty much doubles our power. Right, we can't sell it because that's literally the first thing we picked up. All right, that's what we were looking for though. Excellent. Good times. Good times. Anyway, I still wish that after unlocking the super secret final level for the first time that it was unlockable and playable on any difficulty level rather than just uh, just five cells. Because I think that would be fun. And also because it would give you more opportunities to visit it because how many people like playing on five cell difficulty? It's designed for masochists. That's its entire point. It's just pain. Or maybe I just need to get good. Maybe, maybe somewhere in the middle of that. We will see. We will see. But at least we're not entering this level cursed. Alright, now I'm pretty sure we haven't un- I haven't unlocked the, uh, the boy's axe since the- Oh god, it's you. I hate you handies. Oh, because they've got this! Why? Why do they have both bombs and... What are you? Okay, that is... Cool. Like, that's actually a really cool enemy. I like it. Oh, how I hate you handies. You are the worst. The absolute worst. Oh no. We've lost access to most of our power. And yet, he's still dead. Funny how life works out, isn't it? Beautiful. You know, those guys aren't so bad. Alright. The gargoyles are a bit of an issue, though, because they are immune to fire. So it's not quite a, uh, you know, a forgotten conclusion that we can just destroy them. Hello. Oh, we killed him. God, I like the boy's axe, though. I hope it was never nerfed. I mean, it was, like, ridiculously powerful, which is part of why I liked it, but also just the whole mechanic was just cool. And remains cool, frankly, because it's not like it's gone now or anything. Oh. I'll take you secrets. Then we'll just drop on your head. A little bit of bleeding, not... Oh, <laughs> not bad. Okay, Gaslight, hold your horses. We're all excited to kill the bad... G oh, God. Large bird and giant uh, guy. Are actually really not that bad on this difficulty level. So, again, not entirely sure what I'm concerned about. Ooh, I wonder if I'm going to be able to ace the giant. Given my level of play as of late, probably not. But a man can dream. Oh god, no, not an ever handy. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. What sadistic monster made you? I cannot imagine. But, uh... Oh god, no. No, you don't. No, 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 sir. You son of a bitch. 
Nope. He died easy, though. So that was good. I hate them so much. But I hear that there's far worse. What is it? The Ravenger, who is introduced in 1.4. That thing apparently follows you literally to the ends of the earth. Oh god, no. I hate you so much right now. Okay, you're dead. I hate you too. I also hate you. Didn't manage to kill you. But uh, yeah, stupid hand jobs. They ruined my chance at getting the kill door. And there's definitely no chance of getting the time door. Well, maybe not. We're also, well, maybe not much faster. Well, we're about 10 minutes faster than we were last time. Die, please. God, how I hate. Oh, no, no, no. That was a risk that I didn't need to take, but it worked. All right. Now, there's no way there's 60 enemies hanging around here waiting for us. But it would be really cool if there was. No, 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 not a never hand job. Don't want, do not want. Okay. You know, at the end of the day, everything works out. No, no, no. Yep, just set him on fire. That's the key to success in life. As I've always said, starting from Prison Architect to now, if you have a problem in life, the appropriate application of fire- oh dear. The appropriate application of fire will, you know, get you out of it. Nope. That is a major improvement. Though the collecting gold over unlimited distances would have been useful during the- oh god, no. No, no! <laughs> Why? Just when I thought I was done with these things. Alright. We can do this. It... See, you know what? What was I worried about? Explosive crossbow, really good weapon. Worth considering. Come on. You can make it. I was, I was on the wall for a second. Or maybe I wasn't. You know what? We'll we'll find the, the proper way up there. You know, I really actually like those stomper enemies. That's cool. Oop. That got scary for just a moment. I really thought I wasn't going to make that there. Oh god. No, no, no. Large birds. Large birds. Yes, follow me in here where you can't attack me. Genius. Vampirism, that's good. I mean, these are these are all good things, but they're not, uh... Ah, we've got 150-some thousand. Why am I being so cheap? Okay, that none of those are better than what we've got, so let's go back. Okay. You know what? Only 21 kills. Yeah, we're... I felt we might have a chance, but we don't actually have a chance of getting any kill doors or time doors. Well, maybe a time door. It depends on uh, what the times are. I could be wrong. As I have been before. But I'm pretty sure I'm not in this case. Also, just a quick check. Let's see here. Yeah, well, there's a path there and a path there. Both of which are by shortcuts. So we have no real fear of missing anything. And this probably leads to the giant's uh, cavern. Or, no, the Guardian's Chamber, that's what it's called. Hello. Got a little scared there. Okay, yeah, we're at a point where I can just stomp enemies to death, so... Nope. I don't think there's any... serious danger. Come on. There you go. Yeah, shoot your... your nonsense. There we go. Then we'll just run, because that's what smart people do. 
in these situations. Again, kind of scary. I feel like this level's bigger than I remember it being the last time I was here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take Knife Dance. I think that would be more useful for our purposes. You know, mostly because it, it, it gives us more damage at a distance, whereas the Flame Turret... Well, the Flame Turret is a bit of a distraction, I guess. That was close. The key to remember with Big Bird there is that he attacks very rapidly. There's not anything cool down here, is there? Nope, just fire. Fire and death and... Actually, is that... Thought I saw a secret path there, but I was mistaken, as I sometimes am. My eyes don't always fail me, but when they do, it's very unfortunate. But, you know, life goes on. Let's see here. Yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Oh, look at that. There is a weapon over there. A... Actually, is that the giant slayer that was over there? I think that was. Oh. Cursed chest? Please don't be a cursed chest. It's probably a cursed chest. Just assume the worst. It's not a cursed chest. Okay. As I was going to say there, assume the worst and nothing can hurt you. No! Yes! But yeah, there's definitely not enough enemies. I feel like we've been killing a lot of enemies, and yet we're only at 36. But then again, we have taken damage a couple of times, so that's probably the explanation behind that. No! Nope. You know, you do have a knife dance, Gaslight. Yeah, you can't set them on fire, but they do take damage nicely. Okay. Whoa, Jimmy! Almost rolled straight into that. Which, as always, would have been immensely embarrassing. Oh, and there's more... Of you know, I'm starting to think maybe those tombstones have always been there and I just haven't noticed them or haven't been paying attention in the past. Which sounds about right for me. Alright, now how would I safely get here? Haha! Except I think I dropped... Oh no, it's right here. Okay. Oh no, it's just Seismic Strike. Which is not bad, but it's not really what we need right now, is it? So, away we go. In this hour-long video. I mean, I guess that's just the way of it, isn't it? Dead Cells videos are always an hour long. Well, an hour long or so, I guess. Unless we get, like, a really overpowered build. Right off- oh god. Why? Why won't you leave me alone? Don't you know I don't love you, and do not wish to have you around? No, 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 no. Is this level still going? I swear I remember the last time I played this level that the caverns tended to be short. Like, really short. Okay. You're playing with my emotions now, game. No, no, get out. You are letting me believe. Oh god, they're coming. The large birds are coming! You're letting me believe that there's actually a chance that we might be able to get our, uh, get our kill door here. And then watch, there was no kill door at all. It was just a time door. That would be the most delicious of ironies. Or if we get 59 kills, which also is very likely. Well, very likely-ish. Let's see here. Excellent. Treasures. Because, you know, I do suppose there is room, if uh, Motion Twin wanted, to have... I mean, honestly, I'd be willing to pay for an expansion for Dead Cells, so the fact that all the updates thus far have been free is just... 
like really, really amazing. But uh, yeah, I would totally be willing to pay for an expansion to Dead Cells. But anyway, yeah, I mean, there's what I what I'm getting at here is there there's still stories to be had here. There's still um, also I guess there was not quite enough enemies, sadly. But yeah, there's so sad. Anyway, yeah, there's there's plenty of stories still to be told, even after beating the ultimate super secret final boss. There we go, that's the good stuff. Oh, but it does cause us to take double damage. Now that is interesting. Oh, I like it, but I'm also kind of scared by it. Just a little bit. The giant didn't like the hand of the king, and the hand of the king didn't like the giant. Something, something, the game loaded too fast for me. And let's, let's take a moment just to see his dialogue again, seeing as it's been a while since we've played. Yes. You, here. The malaise has really had its way with you. Oh, you know what? I didn't check to see if you have different dialogue when we're actually in the, uh, the super secret king outfit. Yes, indeed. In keeping with your arrogance, which has brought nothing but ruin on the kingdom in spite of all my warnings. You know, I, I play a game that's just based on the giant, too. He seems like a cool character. Not a shred of hope is left to us. Die! It's also interesting that he literally wears a costume that is... Oh, no. You idiot, Gasly. <laughs> you totally could have aced that. Yeah, this is beautiful. Because in the time it takes me to destroy one eyeball... Oh dear. Ow. You know, I thought I had it. I did not have it. Nope. You were a model for all of us. What drove you to all this destruction? You even managed to destroy your own body. My king. You. Are an incorrigible ass. Yes. And, yeah, even though we've beaten the giant many a- Ooh, what's this? The giant whistle? What does that do? Even though we've beaten the giant many a time before, this is actually- Ooh, hello. What is this? I can actually- Okay, so I don't have to skip straight to the throne room. But we can. If we want to shave off a few minutes. Alright, that's- that's useful to know. Okay, so there's- yeah, only the- only that. And there's nothing for us to upgrade there. Let's see, the giant whistle. Inflict 1157 damage to the most dangerous enemy around. Most dangerous according to the giant. Give me five. And it's a survival weapon. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. I still feel like an idiot for right at the beginning of that fight jumping into his attack. I thought for sure that uh, he was going to do a bit of a wave maneuver there. And then watch I die on the, in the bloody castle. That'll feel really embarrassing. Alright, let's see. Crystals, some cool rocks and gold. I mean, the scary part here, of course, is the fact that we are presently taking double damage. Would probably rather not- oh god, it's you. But then again, the blade dance does double damage. Uh, excuse me, sir. I feel like I should have totally been able to make it. Oh. That's why. It's because there's nothing to land on. Ah, oh, gaslight, you silly goose. No! Nope. That was brilliantly done. Truly a master of our time. 
Definitely not a stupid maneuver to make. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, that actually probably would have been a good weapon to grab as well. But, you know, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with our present build and money situation. Though, let's uh, do one reroll, see if we can... You know what, I'm actually going to buy the, the electric whip. Mostly because it's got more range, so if we... And, and it's fast, so if we find ourselves in need... Whoop! Masterfully done. If we find ourselves in need, then we won't be left uh, wanting for anything. Yeah, we don't, you know, we don't even need to hit criticals in order to do well. And before I go there, I just want to make sure there's not any... There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for, just in case we need to teleport around quickly. Alright. I think there's a kill door at the end of this. Though I might be wrong. It's been a while. I've forgotten where all the time doors and kill doors are. But having said that, I mean, we're, we're doing really well for ourselves. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Oh, you're new! What the heck is that? Kinda looks like a scra- like uh, the Hand of the King if he skipped, uh, leg day. And also possibly upper body day. Or no, just general body day. Yeah. I mean, the fact that we're able to melt pretty much everything at this point, I think is a pretty good indication of where we're at in the game. Whoa, boy. Got a little scared I was about to hit something for a second there. Oh, yeah. That's called using your head. Didn't need that, though. I mean, I feel that there's always room to make your build better. Whoa, Jimmy! Oh, yeah, you are like a scrawny hand of the king. Who I let hit me multiple times. Probably shouldn't have uh, dropped that grenade there. Well, you know what? It actually has worked out okay. Actually. Nope. Ah, I thought I could be able to hit him from here. I was mistaken. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Alright, where is... Whoop. Also, needlessly drop something there. Alright, where does this take us? Also, nice cherry blossoms in the background there. I'm gonna die in this level, aren't I? My gut tells me it is... It's, uh, inevitable. Like gravity. But... Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh god. Whoop. <laughs> Hang on a second. I didn't need to run. I didn't even need... Oh dear. Okay, wait for, uh... Wait for the spinning to end. I walked into it. I just needed to wait just a second. And I would have bypassed it. No kill door for little gaslight. Which is very, very disappointing, but... Again, I did it to myself. What happens when you rush when you shouldn't? But yeah, oh, come on, you. I should probably heal at this point, but I'm not going to. I don't deserve to. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, there is a uh, good mutation for handling these sorts of things. All right, might as well get all three doors, or all three keys, because we get an extra stat upgrade for our trouble. Well played. Could have played it smarter, but 
overall, I'd say we're still doing pretty good. A masterful job dropping your most powerful weapons right before entering the mini boss arena. All right, here we go. Actually, wait, what am I doing? I can zap them in place. I rolled. I totally rolled there, game. But then again, I guess the water slowed me down. At least that's the excuse I'm going to go with. Why, Gaslight? Why? <laughs> the baguette was just waiting for you. It was there all along. I think he would have killed himself if I just let him keep going. Nope. You panicked again, Gaslight. Nope. And panic, it gets you every time. I guess because we're like an hour in, I, I'm i feeling a little hypersensitive about possibly dying. Oh. Ha, sucker. Can't pull that off against the real hand of the king. But I do, I do like that, this notion of having sort of like these little mini boss type characters who are not as strong as the actual boss, but they have some of the the moves of the actual boss, so you can kind of get a, a feel for them. All right, we could go to the throne room now, but actually, you know what? <laughs> I think I'm going to swap to that just because the double damage is is kind of terrifying me here. And do we really need the money at this point in the game? The answer is no, but... I do like watching that number go up. I mean, there's really not that much left to explore. But there is enough left to explore. Might as well, right? Ah, you know what? Screw it. I like exploring. There's probably, like, one more stat upgrade we could grab, but you know what? Let's just go straight to the throne room. Though, on the other hand, that could have got us some more, uh, more useful stuff here. Uh, specifically, more cells and the like. I mean, that, that feels like it's probably useful, but it only kills one enemy at a time, huh? Which is, again, not bad, but not necessarily what we need right now. Alright, so we're going to be entering this. With a little bit of damage. The extra damage after killing an enemy. We should probably switch that to extra damage after... Uh, let's see. Killing an enemy reduces the cooldown. Uh, okay, so that's not useful. Okay, that's useful. This... Yeah, because it lowers damage by 60% after getting hit once, so that's really useful. And, of course, this. Keep those cooldowns low. I'm also not sure how many uh, Dead Cells episodes I'm going to do, just because they are... They're the length of basically two other episodes in, like, any other series, so... I might only do them a couple of times a week, I think. All right, Mr. Hand. I don't I don't really know what I was doing there. Nope. Probably would have been a good idea to jump then. Okay, now he's doing that. Good for him. All righty then. Oh, oh, roll, roll, roll. That would have been an excellent opportunity to parry, by the way. Just, uh... Just so you know that I didn't miss... Miss out on that. Totally could have beat him without taking damage. If I was just a little bit better. Ooh, what's this? Recycling tubes. And telluric shock. Oh, I bet that's a version of, uh... What the hand does. Anyway, with that said, though, it's time to wrap this episode up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.